Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. On today's episode, we're going to have the joy of looking at Psalm 71. Psalm 71, follow along with me in your Bible as I read this psalm. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your heart or incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of habitation to which I may continually come. You have given commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the grasp of the wrongdoer and ruthless man. For you are my hope, O Lord God. You are my confidence from my youth. By you I have been sustained from, birth, from my birth. You are he who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have become a marvel to many, for you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies have spoken against me, and those which watch for my life have consulted together, saying, God has forsaken him. Pursue and seize him, for there is no one to deliver. O God, do not be far from me. O my God, hasten to my help. Let those who are adversaries of my soul be ashamed and consumed. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who speak to injure me. But as for me, I will hope continually, and I will praise you yet more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and of your salvation all day long, for I do not know the sum of them. I will come with the mighty deeds of the Lord God. I will make mention of your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and I still declare your wondrous deeds. And even when I am old and gray, O God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to all who are to come. For your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. You who have done great things, O God, who is like you? You who have shown me many troubles and distresses will revive me again and will bring me up again from the depths of the earth. May you increase my greatness and turn to comfort me. I will also praise you with a harp, even your truth, O my God. To those I will sing praises with the lyre, O holy one of Israel. Or to you I will sing praises with the lyre, O holy one of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you, and my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will also will utter your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed. For they are humiliated who seek my hurt. In this amazing psalm, what's considered by many, and I think with good reason, a psalm of an aged man, perhaps David in his old age writing this song, we have the great opportunity to, to learn and to glean wisdom from the praises of an older saint. This psalm is filled with praises to God. Yes, we still see themes familiar to the psalms of him crying out to the Lord for deliverance from his enemies. And it just lets us know that while we are on this earth, while we are still trapped in this flesh, we will have enemies, we will have opposition until the Lord returns and sets all things straight and, and restores us in the new heavens and new earth. So we will have enemies, and you do still see him calling out to the Lord for deliverance. But this psalm is just filled with praise filled with praise as he looks back on his life and see how sees how God was with him from his birth, how God was with him in his youth, how he sang God's praises in his youth and he still sings praises. And he prays for God to sustain him so that he can continue to sing of God's praises and to inform this new generation of the great things that God has done. What an amazing psalm here. And as we think back on our lives, however far we are from our conversion, we can surely see how the Lord has worked in our lives. And many of us can even see how even before our conversion, we can look back and see how the Lord has brought us along and has carried us along and preserved us. So let us take the example of the psalmist here as we think back on our life, however long that may be, and take the time to praise the Lord for the good deeds that he has done, for the great things that he has done. So spend some time today, Lord, friend, 
thinking back on what the Lord has done in your life and just simply praising him. Praise him for specific things, specific great deeds you have seen him do in your life and offer him praise for those things. And then ask him for the boldness, like the psalmist, to tell others of these wondrous deeds for the glory of his great name. I pray that this psalm encourages you today, friend. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.